What's up guys, your boy Darkskin, and I just want y'all, I want to let y'all know, bruh, it took everything in me to make this video. I'm, I'm telling y'all right now. I was supposed to make this video like 40 minutes ago. I was not about to make this video. So, I just want to let y'all know that. But anyways, uh, so we got a new update, or whatever. Um, uh, yeah, we got a new update. Uh, the new emergency mission is going to be coming out on JP. This is Ao. Uh, this is the guy that got the Byakugan under his eye. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, five star art. Here's a six star art right here. Boom. Here's Hanabi. Um, she is going to be the new PvP, um, Clash Coin, like, shop unit. By the way, so um, just want to let you guys know that we're gonna get more into it later, so don't worry, we'll get into it. All right, so boom, uh, we have a new Blazing Bash Obito. This is five star art. This is six star art, and then we have his seven star art right here. So yeah, we have a new Blazing Bash Obito that's in the game. We have a new Blazing Bash Madara who is also going to be in the game. That's his five star art, six star art. And seven star, he has the Renegon, so there's that. We have a new Nar Sage Mode Naruto coming into the game. This is going to be a PvP reward, right? He's gonna automatically be six star. Um, he's gonna be a PvP reward, so like as you climb in PvP, you'll get more of him or whatever the case may be. So that's what this Naruto is going to be. Now, out of all of these, we don't have stats or jutsus for Naruto. Now, Nordax does mention. Well, here, let's just get through the rest of this stuff first, all right? We have some new ramen. That's a five-star ramen. We don't know what it does or how much experience it gives or anything like that yet. So there's that. Uh, Ninja World Ultimate Showdown going on now. Ninja World Ultimate Showdown. It's just showing the new, like, icon or whatever for this. Um, even Global gets the same update for assets. This is the reason... Why I post the image in English, I think the new update is only for JP. So pretty much Global has the assets, but it's only going to be on JP this week. Uh, we got a new background, and then on top of that we have a whole bunch of new assets for um, the new game mode. So there's that's cool, you know, nothing crazy. You know, 5 Kage, Ambu Black Ops, you got Joni, Special Joni, Chunin, you know what I'm saying? We got all the, the regular stuff, Academy, all that. So... There's that special rules. This is Ninja World Ultimate Showdown. Um, special rules: luck value boost critical damage. Uh, so pretty much, there's going to be different special rules and stuff in the game mode, which kind of sucks. But you know, whatever. We'll see how it goes. Speed um, special factor or special rules. It's just telling you that special rules, whatever. Uh, Ninja World Ultimate Showdown Battle, once again, about speed. So speed is still going to be a thing. So um, I got like 100 plus speed pills on Global. So all those speed pills that I have are going to be just chilling in there. It's going to be real good. I'm going to be able to use them uh, when I need them. Yes. Uh, condition for victory, you know, get three hearts, obviously. So it's pretty much the same principle as the old PvP. Um, the unit with the most speed goes first. Uh, take three hearts, you win the game, yada, yada. Same thing, right? Three new battles, right? So we have training mode, which is the first one. Uh, you have qualifier league, which is like everybody can do qualifier league, right? And then if you um, do good enough in the qualifier league, you will get the five Kage league. So not everybody can get five Kage league. Only those that do really good in the qualifier league will get five Kage lead. So instead of you just sitting in five Kage for the whole season and stuff, now you're going to be competing um, in the five Kage league with other people at a specific time. You're not going to just be like sitting in five Kage doing nothing, right? So that's actually pretty cool. Five Kage league requirements. So pretty much just saying like there's a certain amount of points and stuff you got to get to become a five Kage participant, which that's really cool. Term schedule. There's going to be a certain schedule. So you can't just play all the time. Uh, you can't do like I don't, I'm not sure if you, you can play regularly all the time, but you can't, like, do 5 Kage League and Qualifier League, I don't think, all the time. I don't know. We'll have to see, though. Tons of Ninja World Ultimate Showdown rewards. So, obviously, we'll get pearls, Clash Coins, uh, everything like that. Uh, we're going to be having a ranking system. Instead of it being, like, 
Academy, Chunin, Special Jonin, Jonin, Amu Black Ops, um, and all that. It's going to be Tier F, Tier E, Tier D, Tier C, Tier B, Tier A, and then Tier S, S Tier. So that's how they're going to be ranking it now as far as that goes. Uh, ranking rewards. Uh, I know you can't really see it, but if you look right here, there's a Naruto right here. Let, matter of fact, let me just open a new tab and then zoom in for you guys real quick. There's a Sage Mode Naruto, which is the Naruto that we already saw. He's going to be a body unit. He's going to be a six star. Uh, you can get the Sage Mode Naruto. Um, and that says rank one, but I'm pretty sure you get like six Naruto's at rank one. I don't, it only shows one, but I feel like that's because they just don't want to. I don't know, but I'm pretty sure you should get like a max dude Naruto level one, obviously. But uh, yeah, so there's that. Uh, it goes F tier level one to F tier level two to E tier level one and so forth. So, you know, you go B tier level one, B tier level two to A tier level one. Same thing, yada, yada. This is showing you that you can have multiple teams, which you already knew that. Um, this is the just showing the five Kage picture. And this shows training ground, so you can practice. Um, now we're getting into um, the, what's it called, stats and stuff. I'm going to go over them very briefly because a lot of them are just like self-explanatory, not that crazy or anything like that. Uh, 1500 attack, 1800 HP. We don't know what his field and buddy do. 510 chakra. Boom, right? Uh, destroy substitution, or takes away substitution. Um... 10% chance to get chakra when attacking someone. He has a 50% chance to not get attack weekend. And then he has a two times multiplier on combo, uh, combination attacks. Cool. Uh, we don't care about PvP, right? Bull. Uh, she destroys a barrier. 30% increase the damage to bravery and wisdom. One chakra with map movement. And then a 2.5 times uh, crit multiplier. Uh, she's Short range, 1800 attack stat, or is that, I'm pretty sure short range, 2600 HP, um, 510 chakra, you know what I'm saying, nothing crazy. Uh, going on to Obito, right, PvP Obito, uh, well PvE Obito, 28 cost, vast range, 1800 attack stat, 1800 uh, HP as well, 4-8 um, chakra, uh, he has 45% chance to dodge. That's the only thing that really matters. He has a mobilization resistance, jutsu seal resistance, attack weaken resistance. No one cares, right? Going on to PvP Obito, right? 32,000 HP, 3,000 attack stat, 348 speed. That's really mediocre. Now, he does have the gate type disadvantage, two times multiply, two times increased multiplier with combination attack, and then he has a, a 15 and 20, so 35% um, dodge per, um, chance. And then increase two times, uh, increase multiplier by two on Jutsu. So that's pretty good, but he's, he's, he's very mediocre, right? Now going on to Madara. 30% chance to uh, not use Chakra, right? Then he has a 30% attack increase to heart, skill, body. And then he um, ignores substitution, right? 28 cost, 2600 attack stat short range, 2100 attack stat HP. Going on to PvP Madara, right? Um, 38,000 HP, 4,300 attack stat, 287 speed. Um, he become, he was 510 chakra on this other one, but he comes 48 chakra with this ability. Ignore substitution, 20% chance to use no chakra, 30% damage reduction, and 40 speed increase. Now, this is already with the speed increase. So, Madara is actually pretty slow. He's a little bit tanky. But him being that slow is just not that good at all, right? We don't know what their sync skills are. Uh, here are the Jutsus right here. Right? Byakugan's his first one. So his first one does it. It gives him like an attack boost, I believe. Uh, his ultimate Jutsus right here. Here's Hanabi right here. Or first jutsu, short range. Uh, it might be AOE. I'm not sure. I didn't. I, I didn't care to look. Like, it's not that deep. We'll figure out. And then H R V M sixty four palm. Flip her hair. Mm. Pretty cool. Then uh, we have Obito. So here's Obito's jutsu and stuff. 
which Obito's first Jutsu is lackluster. His ultimate's lackluster. His Blazing Bash Jutsu is all right, but it's nothing crazy. So yeah. There's that. Then uh, we can go ahead and look at Obito's Jutsu right here. Kamoi into the uh, big shurikens. And then his uh, ultimate Jutsu is the same, so we're not going to look at that. Now, going to Madara. Right? His first Jutsu is Majestic Destroyer Flame, but he uses wood style clones. Oh my god, my I apologize for that. My uh I had a I have a uh I have an alarm except for the updates. My bad. Anyways, here's his ultimate Susano split. So yeah, Majestic Destroyer Flames is first due to his ultimate is Susano split, which is normal for Madara, you know, all normal stuff. Then um his other Jutsu is a new Jutsu for him, which is Yasuka Makatama, but it's not a new Jutsu in the game. Itachi's done this Jutsu before, so it's kind of sad. And then, um, his ultimate is the same. Now, um, as you can see, there is no ju stats or Jutsus or anything for the Naruto, so we don't have any information on that, so sorry. Um, I will be getting that information out as soon as it is out to me. So anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Be sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Comment down below. Tell me if you guys think in the comment section below. With that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.